I can give you five reasons. One is the sheer size and significance, how many they are. They are the major share of the workforce globally and certainly in developing countries and emerging economies. A second is that there is a strong relationship, not a complete overlap with poverty. A third is inequality. They suffer uh, low earnings on average and they don't have access to the key dimensions of de decent work and decent living. A fourth is that the system, our policy and regulatory environment, poses systemic risks and disadvantages to them. They lack legal recognition, they are face biased uh, policies and regulations, they are seen as a drag on the economy. We have to help get them out of that disadvantage. The fifth most important reason is that they contribute. They contribute to the economy, they contribute to society, they contribute to environment, they produce goods and services that we all buy, they produce goods and services for formal firms, they produce for domestic and global value chains, they construct our roads and buildings, they produce, process and, dis and distribute our food. So if we collectively embrace them and recognize them and value them, the whole economy will prosper as will our societies and the environment. I truly believe from many years of experience and knowledge that we cannot achieve the sustainable development goals and the Agenda 2030 unless and until we support informal workers and their livelihood activities and promote inclusive, equitable growth. Thank you.